right. Now I am in a in a car park, right? I'm walking. So let me just extend this a little bit more. So I feel this is about right. Okay, I'm I'm single-handed. So uh, today I'm using the Line Audio CM4 with um with the setup a bit clunky, but I just want to see if it works. It's not on top of the camera. It's uh, boomed just below the frame. Yeah, I have to do a bit of little tricks to make it work. It's funny. All right, this is a, quite a big playground. If I turn around, if you guys can see, that's a big playground. All right. Oh, how is the stabilization, by the way? Yeah, I think it's fine. RP is fine, as long as you know what you're doing. I think RP is fine. I have the ND16 on. So four stops of ND. 150th of a second. It's a cloudy, sunny day. F2.8, ISO auto. Yeah, there's a toilet. I'll take my daughter to the toilet. Nana, go to the toilet. Way back. There's a 16 mil digital stabilization on with a rigid connection yeah and then the good thing is I can put it down anytime I want I can put it down like this hey now I'm sitting on the floor I'm sitting on the floor doing my vlogs how is the stabilization Oh, I like it. Yeah. Maybe the audio is better this way because you gotta be on effort. How is the stabilization? I feel it's pretty good. What do you guys think? And now I'm doing overhead shot. Look. I can even do overhead shot. Overhead vlog. Oh, you can see the camera? Yeah, we can see the camera. And if I hold like this, that's my normal vlogging hand gesture. Yeah, that this is normal stabilization. How is the stabilization? One hand. Woo! Okay, let's go. Woo! Thank you, BNH. Thank you, Movo Photo. I just got a uh, little there premium quality wind muffler. I think it's n the name is G30. It's kind of similar to a dead cat for microphone 19 to 22 mil um, diameter, the shaft diameter. So the line audio CM4 is 20. It fits pretty snug and uh, it's the first test outdoor and today it's not much wind um, if we um, come across more wind I'll let you guys know but at the moment it's not much windy I think we're fine all right we'll walk I'll take a little bit of time how is the stabilization I'm walk pretty fast now Cinema is ours. Cinema is ours, Nara. Okay, All right, go, go. Oh, there she goes. Okay. Time for me to monitor her, otherwise she might be in danger. It's actually quite high up there, so... Yeah. So... Bye for now. 
here I am. I put down the whole setup on a table. So overcast die, sun is about 45 degrees above me on my right hand side. Here is the 16 mil with the line audio CM4. One fiftieth of a second, f2.8, ISO about 100 with the ND16 neutral density filter. So um, how is the autofocus? How is the audio? It's a line audio CM4 with the new wind muffler. Does it alter the tone too much? Does it distort? Do you think the high frequency and the low frequency still remain pretty flat, pretty balanced? Yeah, my daughter is playing up there. I'll go there, have a look her. This is a quick test for the audio and video. Hope you guys enjoy it. Bye for now. I turned down the gain on the iPro 2, so now the microphone gets a little bit quieter. Yeah. I don't think it will be distorted in any way, shape or form because the max SPL of Line Audio CM4 is 140 dB. It's a whole 20 dB higher than the Rode NTG, Rode Video NTG and a 30, whopping 30 dB higher than the new Rode Video Go 2. I give up on the idea of buying the Rode Video Go 2 because of that. The maximum SPL only 110 dB. That's a joke. That's not enough. In a noisy park, on a, you know, any music or anyone shouting or screaming, it would be distorted. Yeah, basically there are three types of distortion an audio signal can have. A preamps distorted, and your camera processing distorted, or your recorder distorted, or at a capsule level. The capsule level one is the most difficult to deal with. Basically, there's not much you can do. If the signal already distorted at a capsule level, then then the audio is buggered. You have to do a re-recording. That's the problem with the Rode Video Go 2 and the Rode Video NTG. They're max. A SPL is only 110 and 120 dB respectively especially 110 that's a joke it's just not enough because 110 dB if I shout loudly it will be distorted at capsule so no matter how low your gain is at the camera the audio signal is already contaminated it's distorted yeah on the other hand this little pencil condenser line audio CM4, the max SPL is 140 dB. That's massive, that's professional level. If I'm getting loud, I'm getting loud, it will not dis distort at capsule level. So, yeah, that's a huge advantage. How is the stabilization? How is the audio today? I hope it's not too bad. Now the gain is at 6 out of 10 on the iRig Pre 2. And the camera is only at the three bar from zero. That's the stabilization. That's single-handed. I hope it's not too bad. Okay, bye for now. Bye. Welcome to the indoor vlog. Here we have tabletop, same stand, and same setup as the outdoor walking vlog. So now I'm on the line audio CM4 with a boom arm grip head grip onto the um, iFootage A200 leg with A300 base on top of the table and then we have the Leo Photo two-way head VH10 uh, with a quick release plate Canon RP camera on 16mm uh, 1 50th of a second f2.8 ISO auto and the microphone uh, with three bars of the gain and the iPre2 set at 6 out of 10. How is the audio? How is the video? How is the autofocus? 
How is the sound? Is it very boxy or it's very open? Yeah. And I'm, you know, in front of me is, is a really large window, so it should be really soft, very flattering. Um, yeah, this is F4.0. F4.0. Today is the first time I actually drained the whole battery, so I did lots of short footages. So I will I use um, very simple editing to just connect them together, you know, make a one full episode and upload together. Yeah, leave the comments below. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.